Right, it's the following morning from Cogden Beach. We're still at Cogden Beach. Ain't we? We are. Not for long. No. Tell them why. They've put gravel all over the the car park. It's an absolute mess and it's that gravel that you walk on it sticks to, I, I spent we took the dog out for a walk and I spent probably half hour 40 minutes vacuuming and cleaning and getting everything off it's a mess it's like don't know what it is yeah to me it looks like limestone when that what they use for hardcore and um, once you have a really really good rain it will get rid of all the powdery stuff but because it hasn't rained properly for a good few weeks oh, it's really bad it's just gross so we're moving on where are we going dear? Portland. Yeah, we're going to go to Portland. There's an overnight stop there, which we'll show you when we get there. Well, not straight away. Because we are going for a little walk first, aren't we dear? Down to the lighthouse. Yes, because I love lighthouses. And I've always wanted to go to Portland and see the lighthouse there. So, I'm going to go there first. Now, see you when we get there. Bye. Bye. That is the lovely view at Cogden Beach. And we will be back, won't we? We will. And we'll show you properly then when we come back at some point. Right, we're now on our way. If you can hear, the road's really noisy. To Portland. It's a town. And there's an 
another ride around. Are they going to wave? No. Miserable git, whoever you are. Yeah, swift car in a yellow car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wave next time. Grumps. So we're on the lighthouse car park, we've parked there, we are taking up two bays, but it doesn't say anything about if you take up two bays, pay double. So we haven't. And it was what? Two pound? Two pound, two hours. Yeah. And we just eat in. Scoffing a magnum. Out the fridge, not from a shop. Well it was technically from a shop, but it was little. Right, and there's the lighthouse. I love a lighthouse. I'll get in the drone ready and because he had his big bag behind me I <laughs> while we were trying to film me I took the mic and I said didn't I yeah I'm gonna be doing <laughs> the YMCA while he um, flies the drone and what did said, I say he said go on then because it'll be funny <laughs> but I ain't because I'm holding the dog and it's lovely do you like it, Mr. B? I do, very much. Alright, and we're just off for a walk, aren't we? Before we go up to our parking spot for the night. I know we can get parked up. We'll tell you a bit more about that when we get there. We don't know a lot ourselves, do we? No. Never been there. And where we stayed last night is over that way somewhere. It is beautiful. We think that's the prison. You reckon it is, don't you? Yeah, it looks prison fired. Prison fired, yeah. yeah. It looks like Alcatraz.
But it can't be that bad being in prison with that gorgeous view. Yeah. Well, if you're on the top floor, got a suite, penthouse. yeah, penthouse suite, you're all right. Landed on my head, but I missed it on the film. I mean, on the camera. Anyway, right, we're currently at Portland Bill still. Um, we went further into Portland to get some shopping, and I went on search for sites to find the Vern Battery Park up, which is called New Ground. You pay ten pound a night. We've got security there. Apparently, someone comes around and collects the money off you. So, we were going to stay there, and then I saw that the pub by the lighthouse, well, just up from the lighthouse, was on there as a park up. So, Carl phoned. She said it's £10 a night, and just to turn up. And we've turned up, and the pub's shut. And Carl's knocked the door, I think, and nobody's answering. So, we parked up here anyway. If no one comes out for the money, we'll probably stay here all night anyway. So, but we'll let you know. But that's the view out the cab. And the pub is called the Pulpit Inn on Portland, Portland Bill. And that's the pub. I mean, I presume they'll live above, so maybe they'll come out, but who knows. So, uh, we'll have to see. But you know. Tenor a night, give them your support. Especially with pubs at the minute, they need it. We were just sitting in the motor home, ready to go out with the dog. And we saw some woman walking past, doing some litter picking on the car park. She looked at us, but I thought, well, she, she's not the landlord. Because I thought, why don't she come over and knock the door? Because she knew we was coming. So anyway, I watched her. She went around the side of the building. Then I saw some bloke stick his head around the building, peeping at us. So I just rang him up, they answered the phone. The bloke was the one. Oh, were you in the motor home? I said, yeah. Oh, okay. I said, I'll be around. So I went around. Found out the bloke's from Birmingham. Um, not too far from where I live. Worst luck. She said that she, she's been here seven years. She's supposed to come down here to run the place for a friend for a couple of weeks and then stay here. So then I paid him. Paid him the £10. Got a receipt for it. Nice couple. Said there's breakfast in the morning and everything. There's also a water tap there if we need any water. Help yourself. So, very nice. So, we're going to now settle down, take the dog for a nice long walk, come back, get something to eat and chill. 
by the look of it, I think we're the only people who's going to be here tonight. Yeah. And it's mega, 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 mega quiet and a lovely sight. So hopefully, you should get some nice stars. Tonight, it looks quite clear. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'd say, you know, £10, all right, you've got no facilities, really. But if they do breakfast in the morning, you can have something to eat. Water, so you can top up as well for nothing. Well, it ain't for nothing, you're going to pay the tenner, but you know. Yeah, but it's a really nice spot, look, as we already showed you. Lovely view. I mean, that's the view out the cab. And then that's the view I've got off the sofa. So, yeah, £10, you can't moan. Just come to watch the sunset.